Hello and welcome back. Um, it's favourites, December favourites. Um, a little disclaimer for you, it is not the end of December. We have not had Christmas yet. I am filming this mid-December. Um, I hope you'll forgive me. It's just going to be really hectic at the end of the month, so I thought I would get the favourites done. And these are products that I've been reaching for a lot in the first few weeks of December. Um, makeup, skincare, fragrance and hair products as well. Um, do let me know if you'd like me to film a skincare favourites of 2017 and a colour favourites of 2017. I don't presume you want to see them and I don't want to bore you. I've done them for the last couple of years. So I don't want to sort of keep doing the same content if it bores you. But if you want to see it, let me know and I'll do that for you and that'll probably land about January. But let's make a start and see what's been my favourites so far this month. This one you've seen a lot, but it is a favourite and I've used it for years and I will hopefully still be using it for years to come. It's Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. It takes all my makeup off, eye makeup, eyeliner. I don't use waterproof mascara so I can't comment on if it'll do that but it does everything I want it to do without stripping my skin and leaving it dry and tight. It's just the most beautiful beautiful cleanser. I love it and I generally use it in an evening as my first cleanse. Next to shampoo. This is a treat. Um, it's Orbe shampoo for beautiful colour and I just love it. Really nice on my hair, vibrant, lifts the colour, very lightweight, it doesn't weigh my hair down and I use it once a week. Simple as that. Um, but a beautiful shampoo. Not so bothered about the conditioner. Never really saw anything about from that with my hair but this I did so it's back in I haven't used it for a long time but I decided to treat myself so Orbe. Um, this is my second bottle and it's absolutely a godsend at this time of year it's very lightweight um, a very watery milky lotion and it's the Vichy Aquilia Thermal Serum um, morning and evening onto the skin it doesn't leave any residue there's no slip or anything it's straight on straight in but it makes such a difference especially when you've got central heating if you're going out into the elements and it is bitterly cold in the UK at the moment I live way down south and generally we miss that horrible cold bite but we haven't this year it's so so cold um, but this really helps just keep my skin beautifully hydrated and not drying out from having the central heating on. Another product, this was a PR sample and it's one of the best I had this year because it introduced me to this great oil. I've already used products in the brand so I knew the brand was good. But it's the Sukin Chia Seed Oil. Now I'd been using Chia Seed Oil from another brand for years and it was about 70 odd pounds but because it was so transforming for my skin I kept buying it. I got this and this did exactly the same thing. The ingredients were just about exact as well and I think it's under 20 pounds. So this, still the PR sample, nearly finished. I will be buying another one but it's absolutely beautiful on my skin. I use it during the day, I use it as part of my evening routine, I work it in conjunction with the Vichy, sometimes I put the oil on first because that's how I like to do it because certain products for me work in different rotations, sometimes I put the serum on and then the oil. I do what suits me at the end of the day, my face, my choice, um, but outstanding oil, I just love it um color lots of color should we just do fragrance i've got one fragrance which you won't be surprised at it's nearly finished but i have my new one that was in a haul video this is the fragrance i wear it all year but when it gets to this time of year i do tend to just put this on all the time and it's coco mademoiselle chanel end of warm sweet a little bit of a kick to it bit of spice to it oh my signature scent, I love it. Right, makeup. Um, I haven't had this long, but I'm hooked. I love it. It is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade 2 medium. And it is so lightweight, so fine, so beautiful, lovely under the eyes. It doesn't cake or sit. 
it gives almost a canvas finish to the face and if you don't like to be too powdered this is perfect it's just a really very subtle hint um, it just takes that extra sheen away beautiful really love it hooked brilliant powder um eyes what do i reach for in december um i will wear my eyes however i feel like it so even in the midsummer i will sometimes go really grungy really smoky eyed but there are certain colors i look for this time of year i used to be very into my greys and i wore a lot of gray when i worked on counter and a lot of sort of blue toned purples i love doing a really strong purple eye with a strong red lip it's very distinctive and you can't be missed but I loved it you could just well you could just play with what you wanted when you worked on counter as much as you could throw on your face it was great um, but these are kind of the colors I look for this time of year um, Tom Ford this is the eye color quad nude dip um, palette and I like it all the shadows are satin and um, sometimes I love it and sometimes I just find them a little bit too soft and satin but this time of year I really love them I really do and I do tend to use sort of the three and then just the lighter one I use to highlight my brow bone but a really nice easy palette to work with you can use all the colors obviously separately use them as a duo trio or as the quad but uh, a really really good palette and I do like the sort of purpley pinky tones this time of year especially with the nice sort of red berry lip as well or a nude lip another palette that I love and it's my favorite it's the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette just a really good palette but I particularly love the sparkle um, which I tend to go mad on this time of year I put sparkle over everything if I'm going to Tesco's I put sparkle on my eyes you know it's December um, but a really good palette um, I've looked at some of the others they're very nice but this color choice is just perfect it works beautifully together eyeliner now you know my love of liquid liner but I have been backing off doing a little bit more of a subtle line using pencil and one of the best um, I've used is the Lola um, makeup by purse this is the automatic pencil in brown 002 it's a self-propelling pencil it's a very delicate one but it's a lovely brown strong brown but it doesn't budge it's great when it's on there it's staying you don't find it's transferring because i do have hooded eyes um it just stays in place nice in the waterline tight line nice under the eye a really really good gentle pencil great pigment um, and I've reached for it an awful lot to do my liner I've got it on today but it's kind of replacing my liquid liner now then talking of tones there's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury because she does do tones very very well that palette to me is just everything that works um, on the brown scale this is my favorite cream shadow which I've been reaching for an awful lot it's the Mona Lisa in the eyes to mesmerize and it's sort of a mink brown mauve beautiful eye color i love it with my sort of brown hazel eyes absolutely beautiful and recently i found one of her chameleon color chameleon pencils that is very similar to me to the mona lisa it's kind of the um pencil version this is actually dark pearl and i think they are very much alike in tone when you see them in certain lights I love this it's very creamy very easy to apply straight from the bullet onto the eyelid you can blend with your finger take it underneath and you're done you wouldn't actually need any brushes so if you just had this in your handbag and you had nothing else you'd be able to do a lovely eye with this really really great product but I really love that tone it's just so beautiful really lovely so those two have been out an awful lot I'm wearing this today I will apologize because I don't know whether you can still get it it was a limited edition from NARS it's the Christopher Kane and it's the outer limits and it's just this absolutely beautiful pan of gold and rose gold and oh just lots of shimmer I've got it on I love to just put it over the eyeshadow I've applied really good over cream shadows because it sort of fixes in place I like to take it into the corner, I like to take it underneath, 
lovely and whenever I wear it people always comment and oh what have you got in your eyes and having a look any glitter shadow would work but there's something a little bit more soft and delicate this is very very fine where the Charlotte Tilbury glitter is lovely but it's got larger flecks of shimmer this is very very fine so it's more the subtle version but yet the color and the reflective quality of it really makes it stand out and I love to use it over browns and purples it works so well a mascara um l'oreal oh now then this may start a rant so i'm going to apologize now if i go into this rant however i'll tell you how lovely this is this is the l'oreal age perfect lash magnifier and it's their new range of makeup um i love the mascara it's not particularly a sort of jaw dropping wand i looked at the wand and thought oh i'm not so sure but the product itself is so lovely very creamy very rich very glossy and it always makes my lashes look good and it improves the condition of them um, I can't remember what's in it but there's all sorts of lash conditioning agents in there as well and I love it I love it when it's on my lashes it holds its color it doesn't transfer beautiful now briefly the age perfect makeup um, came about from lots of studies that L'Oreal did and interviewing women and we know L'Oreal sort of put themselves out there as a supporter of you know the mature lady those of us that have had um, a lot of birthdays ladies are older than myself and they have Jane Fonda and Helen Mirren and lots of people representing the brand and they did lots of interviews and found out that I think they went to sort of an age group over 55. I don't want to just say ladies because everybody wears makeup. That's the whole point of it. It's there for one and all to use. So people over 55 particularly they focused on and how transparent they felt and ignored and forgotten about um, and just non-existent almost. And they decided to develop this range to suit a maturer skin um, and give something back. I think the problem is that when we look at marketing, um, for me, I'll buy what I want. I don't care. I never think of any makeup as a particular age, but a lot of people do. And if you're told that something is, oh, it's for the 20 year olds, a lot of people stay away from it. That doesn't make any difference to me if I like the blusher I'll buy it I, I really don't see a number to it but a lot of people don't shop that way so they developed a range that would appeal to ladies who wanted a makeup range that recognized them and you know brings out the best if you want to wear makeup you don't have to um, so they brought this out um, I've got the foundation I'm not so sure about the foundation oddly I do find it can be a little bit drying which seems a bit odd for a maturer skin, which tends to be generally dry. Now my skin's oily combination and I find it drying, but we'll see. The color's lovely, I'm not certain. This I love. Um, I have the concealer, but it's a bit too dark for me, but it's a nice consistency. Um, my rant, briefly, I apologize. My rant is that they developed this range for ladies and gentlemen, 55 plus who, you know, do feel that they are forgotten and not seen and people don't recognise their value. But there they are launching this wonderful range, great choices, lipsticks, everything. And they sent a lot of the products out initially to beauty people, journalists, bloggers, lots of great bloggers out there who were 55 over 60 plus and journalists the same but they also sent a lot of the products out to beauty people in their 30s now makeup is for everyone makeup is ageless i always believe that but when you're launching something and you've done this research and you're there saying we're supporting you and we're recognizing that you know you exist and you want something for yourself and this is going to be absolutely fantastic for you I cannot, it beggars belief, why you would send it to bloggers in their 30s. I mean, even myself at 47, if they'd come to me, I'd have thought, oh, you know, okay, I'm nearly in my 50s, but still, um, but in their 30s? 
And I know there's people in their 30s with fine lines and wrinkles and just because you're in your 30s doesn't mean to say you don't have a similar skin uh, to somebody who's 55. But at the end of the day, the whole purpose of this age perfect range was for people over 55. I'm sorry, but you know, this is brands just sending their stuff out to people who have, you know, thousands of followers to get reach, not let's care about the people we're supposedly caring about. Lost your way there, L'Oreal, I think. Ramped over. Um, this it is a bit of a Charlotte Tilbury heavy love this December, but it's just how it is. Um, Beauty Light Wand, easy highlighter. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to like this. It's only 12ml of product, however, I love it. Um, you twist, squeeze, product comes onto the foam applicator, you pop it on your face and I blend with my finger and it's just one of the best highlighters I've had recently. You get the sheen, I am wearing it today, I don't know if you can see that. You get a lovely sheen, it's not shimmery, it's very flattering, but it's just this gloss on the face and it's so beautiful. Um, very lightweight, doesn't sit on the face. I absolutely love it and I am using it. Either this or Glossier, fabulous. And finally this which has featured before um, and I always have one and I don't use it for ages and then I go back to it. Bobbi Brown and it's the corrector in Bisque. Um, I tend to pop this on before I put my base on and then I put a concealer on but it's really helping. This time of year my skin changes tone, under eye looks different, sometimes I can look as though I've got a black eye and it is, it's just the lighting, just the skin and everything but I do like this peachy tone, it just evens, freshens and lifts everything and it's beautiful and I sometimes use it on its own if I'm just staying in the house but I don't want to look in the mirror and frighten myself I reach for this, so it's been, it's back out back out of the mothballs. Right, that's it, December favourites. Um, I will do my little, like the Queen's speech video for you nearer to Christmas, um, but that's it. Thank you for joining me, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you've enjoyed the favourites in 2017. Do let me know if you want to continue seeing favourites videos, if there's anything else you'd like to see, anything you don't particularly enjoy. Tell me how long you like the videos, that kind of thing. I'd like your feedback. Um, on this year. Thank you so much everybody and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now. <laughs>